How you doing everyone? Turkey Buzzard here. Hope you're having a good day. Well, I'm up here at Croup Manor and I had to come up and do this as part of a quest. Didn't want to, but I got stuck doing it. So I came up here and cleared Croup Manor. And in past playthroughs, when I've cleared Croup Manor, I could come up here and clean the place up. As a matter of fact, I could pretty much scrap everything, including the house except for the basement of course. Well for some reason on this playthrough I can scrap hardly anything. I mean all this stuff on the floor I can't scrap it. There's so much stuff that I can't scrap here. And I decided well then I'm not going to bother building anything here. But I do have two settlers here and so I said well where are the settlers and I started looking around for them and I couldn't find them and come to find out for some reason these settlers like hanging out down here by the water. Now I have no idea why but they do and uh, I was wandering around here and I thought wow this would be a, a great place actually uh, to build like a cave. So that's what I did I built a cave. And obviously in order to do this I, I used a bunch of rocks and I blew them up and placed them and then I fast traveled away and came back so that the size glitch would uh, be taken care of. And I put a bunch of bushes around it and some boards up against the front of the cave. And I think it came out pretty nice. I just figured it'd be a nice place where someone would be able to come in and hide out in here. I stuck a booze still in here and I did assign one of the settlers uh, to the booze still and this cot. They don't come here though because it is outside the borders. Uh, not that I really care. I didn't build it because I was trying to do anything for settlers. It was just uh, basically a crazy idea that came into my head. So I decided I'd build a cave. But I think it came out pretty nice. I added a little fire here and a makeshift chair. And this guard post is from Thematic and Practical. I added that in. I just figured it would look kind of neat. But that's pretty much it for this cave. Uh, I do have something else though I did want to show you. And that is... At Sunshine Tidings. So I'll meet you in Sunshine Tidings. So here we are at Sunshine Tidings. And as you can see I built a church. Now I have uh, a bunch of the Master Plan series of mods. And one of them is Adam's Greatness. And that mod allows you to build churches. Either a stone church or a wood church. And as you can see I built the church. And I blew up one of the bells that you use to call settlers and put it up there in the bell tower and actually if I was to ring that bell the settlers would come however as of right now I only have one settler here and that is the preacher that works in the church so I'll show you around this church and as I said it's it's not a big church it's kind of small. But I'm considering starting a community here. And this is the organ room. I have to admit I'm not particularly brilliant about churches and how they're set up. But this is just going to be a small community church. And in order to uh, put stairs here, I had to use these circular stairs because uh, normal stairs just take way too much space. So I decided to use circular stairs. And of course, this is the rope up to the bell tower. And up here is where the priest lives. 
And I didn't do a lot of decorating in here because I would like to make this into a community. So I want to go a little easy on the decorations so that we, so that I can build more buildings. And uh, I haven't really decided what else I do want to put here yet. Uh, if anybody has any ideas or suggestions, I would appreciate you putting them in the comments below. Uh, But I also have other things I want to work on. I, I originally thought about going down to Merc Water Construction. And uh, this game is supposed to have aliens. You know, that saucer and stuff. So I considered going down there and actually building a spaceship and putting aliens in it. But uh, I went down there and no matter what I did, I could not build a spaceship. There's nothing, there's no materials that they come up with that you can come close to building a spaceship. So I gave up on that idea. And uh, I was talking to Scott from SNG Gaming. Now, uh, if anybody is familiar with SNG Gaming, Scott uh, puts out also videos and he does uh, uh, a lot of lore friendly stuff. And he just recently actually changed his name from s and Gaming to Sbrew42. So uh, you should uh, check him out if you haven't. But we were talking and uh, I don't know how, but he gave me the idea of uh, going down to Murkwater and setting up like a slaver community. Uh, way back when all I had was a, an Xbox 360 and I was playing Fallout 3. Uh, they had a slaver community down there. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But I also want to work on this and build a community here. And I do have a start on it. As you can see, I have another building over here. And uh, I have Cabin in the Woods, which gives you this round building. And I put the round building out, down and... Uh, I expanded at 4.5 twice, which means in the end, this building ended up twice the size that it normally is. And then uh, I originally put a large door in there, but it made me feel like uh, Jack and the Beanstalk uh, with the size of that door. It was huge. So I got rid of the door and I found uh, actually a door wall that fit right in this doorway and another wall that went over top of it so uh, it worked out well but I decided to build this sort of like as a community gathering place and uh, you know I basically put a big fireplace in here uh, with a chimney huge fire I haven't put any uh, benches or seats or anything in here yet. I don't really know what I want to put in here, tell you the truth. Uh, again, anybody has suggestions or ideas, let me know. I'd be glad to, uh, to run with their ideas. But, you know, this is coming out pretty good so far. As I said, I do want to add more to this community as soon as I figure out what to add. But in the meantime, I'm also going to be uh, building down at Merc Water Construction and working on a slaver community down there. Uh, you know, maybe have a bunch of raiders holding people as slaves. So we'll see how that works out. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like. I always appreciate it when you do. And... Uh, Again, you have any suggestions, let me know. Be glad to respond to your comments. But for now, I'm going to let you go, and I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.